people are out of their homes tonight. Fire swept through their apartment complex in Mount Pleasant overnight. Firefighters from eight different departments were called in to help fight the flames at the Diamond Head Apartments on Spring Street. Crews stayed on the scene for more than five hours, battling the flames as well as the snow and the cold. Everyone was able to get out of the complex safely. Matt Ackland has our top story to start off team coverage. The flames spread fast and shot nearly 80 feet high at times, witnesses say. Brian Langfeld asleep inside the complex when the blaze broke out, awoke to the sound of fire alarm. People were knocking on doors, trying to say, you know, get out, there's a fire, and just do what you can to get your stuff and get out. As Brian watched firefighters rescuing people from the second story of the building, connected to his, he did what he could to help his elderly neighbors out of harm's way. The smoke I started seeing coming out of the windows, and people standing in their windows, and trying to get out, and it was just crazy sight. In minutes, firefighters from eight nearby departments rushed in to help Mount Pleasant battle their biggest fire in recent history. They had several people they had to rescue from heavy smoke, and they also had to face heavy smoke and high temperatures as, the, as they crawled in. Once everyone was outside and safe, large tour buses were called in to give residents shelter from the cold. Some were taken to hospitals, others to this nearby hotel. I see some, uh, some elderly and probably people in their late 20s, early 30s, you know, pretty much in their uh, pajamas heading for the bus. What caused the fire is still a mystery. How much damage it caused is still unknown. Still, despite being unable to return home tonight, Brian says he's fortunate. He and his neighbors escaped with their lives. Scary. You know, you never know what can happen. You just gotta thank the people around you and the support that you have. In Mount Pleasant, Matt Ackland today, TMJ4.